Hello everyone and welcome to another part of the Beardlib Editor Tutorial. In this episode we're going to be going over instances. These things right here. While you look at this right now, you may think that this is just a normal object. But I have this enabled, selects in instances, and when I select it, gets all these funky things, shows all these weird objects, and you might be asking what these are. <clears throat> so, an instance, think of it as a world within a world, right? So this object and all of its little weird parts, they're all a world. And they're within this world that I made. So, all these boxes are objects. They're all units. See this? It goes around the window frame. All these other units, though, are most likely just editor units. As you can see, they're not visible. And all of these are just elements. Elements placed in the world. So you can kind of get a general idea of, like, what some of these elements do. <coughs> so... If you place an instance down, you could do some, a couple things with it, like, um, for instance, with this element, or with this instance, you could probably shoot the glass. But there's some special things that instances do, and we call, we use, um, a couple of these instance elements. So it's called, something called an input or instance input event and <coughs> it's not COVID I swear anyways another one called the instance output event so the instance input event means when I execute this this will send a signal to the instance to do something so I select the window well here we can see a bunch of stuff See, activate nav links, disable lights, enable lights, shutters in place, shutters open. What this, with the output event, means whenever something happens to this, this element will be executed. So if the window is broken, it'll execute. To do a little test with that, we can set up a debug. And be like, hey, the window broke, buddy. Debug, three, I'm going to save, restart. Interesting. So the instance itself seems to have noises attached to it. It's cool. Anyways. Hey, the window broke, buddy. See? So this it gets um, executed when the window is broke. It's interesting that it has its unique sounds. Huh. So you might be asking... Why are instances a thing when you can just make them in the world themselves? The reason why instances are so important and very useful for some maps is we have this one instance. This uh, instance is from Shacklethorn. Alright? You know how many windows are on Shacklethorn? A lot, right? Every window has the same logic. If you shoot it, stuff can happen, alright? So, Imagine putting all of these elements per every time, every window in that map, and have them within your map. There would be so many different elements. So, why not just have one object that handles all of the elements, there's no mess, and it's all clean. That's what this is. That's why instances are important. So, I've explained what the output does. I'm going to show and demonstrate what the input does. It's just, think of it like a unit sequence, alright? 
So I want to hit shutters in place and go boop. Oh, that didn't work. Shutters open. I think I have to be in the game itself. That might be why. See, that one didn't work. Disable lights. Oh. There you go. So you see, I just executed this, and it turns off the lights. So that's what the input does. Think of it just like a unit sequence. Alright. So, there's a couple other elements that I want to show. There is the instance point and I think that might be it. So the instance input, you don't have to worry about that in a normal level. And the instance output, you also don't have to worry about. I can showcase one of them here. They're both the same, but as you can see, event, none, right? So what this is, these go physically within the, the instance itself. So if we go to here, and we see all of these right here, all, all of these names are just typing in shutters open and that within the instance itself. So I have this here. Something like this would be within the instance itself. And when I execute this with the shutters open, this element within the instance get executed. I'll explain that more in the next episode where I'll show you how to create instances. All right, and there's a couple other elements in here that I'm gonna be honest, I don't know, I don't understand. For the most part, I've never used them. All right, so there's instance parameters and instance set parameters. I don't understand these ones, I'm going to be honest. I believe this one goes within the instance itself. You can set a variable, blah blah blah, set a variable like that. And the set, it like goes to the thing and can set the parameters. I don't understand. I think it's if like... If you want this to happen within an instance, do this sort of thing, but I've never used it. And also this random instance input event. Uh, this is fairly new to the Beardlib Editor. It's maybe been here for a month. I've never had a uh, reason to use it. And also if I like do something like that, it just deletes itself. So I don't really understand how that works. A lot of things I do understand. Instance points. Alright, so an instance point, if you click on the uh, instance itself, you see there's the transform, normal stuff, the quick buttons, but there's this new thing called mission placed. If you click this and have it checked, go to the instance point, we can see that this now pops up here. What this does, if I save and restart. What this does is sometimes instances want to randomize locations or you want to have uh, instance that moves. Um, that's what this element does. So we can start the level and see that's where the instance is. That's where the instance points is. If I just go here and hit execute. See? It duplicates. So you see, it just moves the instance right here, for the most part. Um, like I said, this is very useful if you want an instance to just teleport to a new area or have it randomized within a couple of different areas. Overkill uses this a lot. They have in their levels a black 
black uh, plane using whoops it's a unit they have a bunch of these in the sky and they have all their instances or in all their uh, elements up here and sometimes they'll have their instance up here and then all the instance points down here for the random locations that it can be in so that's what the instance point is for um, I've used it a couple times and it's very useful although sometimes it's a little buggy because uh, if you want the instance to do something before the round starts like say I'll show you what happens with this so I made this instance right here it's for the Julie crafters map it is the crafting table and as you can see there's a whole bunch of elements over here they all do a bunch of stuff anyways um, so you can see by default all these things show up and that doesn't really look too pretty and not to mention there's no text up front and the buttons kinda Z fight so that's kind of annoying right if I do mission placed okay here I'm gonna do area trigger instance input this one's gonna go to the crafting station hit setup when I walk into this area it's gonna go to the instance input event no 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 no, no wrong one input event there you go So, <clears throat> what this is going to do is, I'll show you a couple things. So as you can see right now, by default the instance isn't really well done, and I shouldn't have walked towards it, damn it, the game crashed, uh, just because I have a couple of uh, unique interactions, and because it's not loaded, the game crashes so but anyways as you can see there was all the objects on top of the crafting table and that's not supposed to be there that's why I set up an, a setup instance input event so when the level starts I can just execute that and it will uh, fix everything all right Let me just show that to you. So, there you go. It just looks like that. I'm going to start. I'm not going to walk too close this time because I've messed up. But yeah, as you can see, it's all messed up there. And if I walk into this, well, it's supposed to fix it. Did I not set it up? Execute. Why are you not working? That is odd. It's supposed to delete all the text there, and it's supposed to delete everything that's on the top and fix the buttons. But anyways, uh, so in the map, Julie Crafters, this would happen at the start. It would fix the instances, but I had one instance that you get when you uh, bought an asset. And I had it so, when you bought the asset, it would move it to over here. Except this other one, it would never properly set up for clients. It's very weird. The instance input, um, this is point, sometimes just does that sort of stuff. So you got to be wary about that. Okay. For the most part though, that the instance point won't have an issue. That's just how you duplicate. So, that's instance instances in a nutshell think of them as just big units that have unit sequences so this is a unit sequence unit sequence trigger and you can do a bunch of stuff <coughs> again like I said I'm gonna go into the next episode I'm gonna show you how to make instances so I'll see you then